But he shakes hands with you with his left hand. And, of course, the tape on his middle finger of his right hand that's going to require surgery at the end of the season that he's been playing with all year long. So we'll keep a close eye on Carl Malone's right wrist and hand to see if it in any way causes him a problem during this game. Our officials tonight here for game two at the Delta Center. The San Antonio Spurs have never won a playoff game in this building. Inside, Hornacek from Stockton. And they start the game off just the way they finished it. Get halftime of this ball game with details on the first game. From long range, Tim Duncan puts it down. Remember, he had 33. He was the man for San Antonio in game one. We're tied at two. Alone. Left alone for that shot. And Carl has his first bucket. Spurs with about two seconds left in game number one. Post Carl Malone, being defended by David Robinson. Malone's turnaround shot goes, and Carl has four. In the one minds of the players, a near win. They're a little flat here as we begin tonight. Well, if you look at statistics, they might have won the game, but the game is not won on statistics. The game is won on defense, and Carl Malone showing you just how to play playoff basketball. Boy. Welcome to Benny Del Negro. Two points, Spurs lead. Del Negro had to change his shot and get it to Duncan inside. It was a good idea from Benny Del Negro. He has out there. Herrera defending Antoine Carr. Nice tip in by Shandon Anderson. And that's the one way that this second unit scores. Second chance shot, second effort always. Shandon Anderson, one of the best in the league. And to a 12-6 lead early in the game. Duncan and one that's eight points and a chance for nine for Duncan as he's fouled by Ostertag Utah scored by eight points while Stockton rested six on the shot clock for John he'll just pull up and take that 20 for it. there that's an answer to your Spurs got a nice feeling going on his mid-range jumper four out of five from the floor car from Stockton three-point game the scoring turning it up a notch here Carr has four points and Bobby pick and roll with David Robinson and Del Negro big block from Antoine Carr right into the hands of David Robinson the shot clock didn't reset remember it didn't hit the rim we have only seven seconds on the clock for Avery Johnson looking for a pick from David shot clock to three Antoine Carr our own gnome is job down low Russell to John Stockton referees would not have called that foul inside to Shandon Anderson against the rifleman he dishes on Antoine Carr <laughs> making a path to the basket where there was none Antoine has six defended by Big Dog look how physical he's being with the Tim Duncan down low Jaron Jackson wide open for the triple excellent ball rotation for San Antonio Spurs and of course the that's where David's been having a problem the whole series is missing oh. that, but he's not having a problem when he gets the offensive boards. There were only seven offensive rebounds in the end. the perimeter. They and have to be hot from the outside to win if they're going to play that way. Car off the break, and one! Chuck Person fouled him, and the Jazz really getting out and running the floor now. By the defense of Antoine Carr, six times great defense in the last five minutes of basketball down there going to the admiral anyway back out to jaron jackson shot clock to six tough angle for jaron down on the baseline where he let the defense go by and he stuck with it jaron jackson that was a sweet looking shot oh you're so happy for him eight years in the league eight different teams also going away from the league he was with four cba teams out of georgetown Car. <laughs> big dog 10 minutes of play Ten points already. No assists in the game. Very strange stat for Avery. Brian Russell for a triple. Setting a pick for Avery Johnson. Eight on the shot clock. Johnson all the way to the hoop. Tip in Purdue. Purdue, Purdue one of the things he does best. Go to that offensive board. Six seconds. Oh, that's Stockton for three. In the seven-footer's face. On the floor. Hornacek open for that jumper. Into Malone, defended by Tim Duncan. Malone, nice play. Duncan's been quiet, speaking of that. 
Spurs by five. Hornacek for under in the paint. Counted and won. Hey, Bob, this was definitely. Check score that way, though, over the period of a season. He's one of the best at getting it off in the paint against big people. Taking a little bit of a rest. Duncan, we told you, has been quiet. Coming away. Now he's playing well. Posting Malone against Purdue. Steps back. That's the money shot for Carl Malone. It is tough. Duncan trying to stop that and does. Oh, he's going to work. But just as we were doing, 16 turned into 19 points for Utah. Hornacek for the triple. 77-73. Utah goes seven. The Jazz have hit their last six shots. Make it seven. Carr. You hear the wolf. Four-point Jazz lead. One second in the period would have counted. Wild and woolly. Spurs led by a point at the half. Trail by four. Jeff Hornacek on fire in the period. He had 11 points in the quarter. And Utah outscores San Antonio 28-23 in the third. I'm Jeff over there. Give him some water in sure, his corner. I'm sure it's right more appreciate that. Avery Johnson has 21. Spurs by a point. Jazz trying to regain the lead. Stockton penetrated Malone. That was just beautiful basketball. They ran one play, it didn't work. It came back. The second option of that is Malone st stepping up and setting the back pick, go pick and roll, and then Stockton doing his thing, getting his big guy open. Just John, beautiful. John has nine assists tonight, Reggie. Robinson back in the game. Remember, he didn't score in the second half to Chuck Person. Well, the rifleman with that three. And now the Spurs regain the lead by two. Four on offense that time. Seven on the shot clock. Robinson faces up over Tim Duncan. Malone with the big bucket. 96-94 as Delta Center. Deafening crowd. Robinson with six to shoot. Spinning and turning. Robinson gets the bucket. That's his... John Stockton missed a great opportunity right there to drop that ball off to Antoine Carr. Tim Duncan against Antoine. Pull up jumper. It is 98-96 San Antonio. Half offensively by Jerry Sloan calling from the outside. Malone hard to the rack. Robinson fouls him. And one for Malone. And time and time again. Robinson having to be restrained by his coaches. Robinson stepping up into the lane. Go ahead and give your body up. You know Carl is not going to stop. Look at him coming up. You call, watch him. No reason to go in the air. You know Carl is going to give you a high knee. Take the punishment and get you for the lead. Oh, he bailed out on it. Big offensive board from Antoine Carr, who's come up big defensively and offensively on the boards tonight. We are looking overtime right in the face unless the Jazz score. Stockton oh, kicks no. out. Avery Johnson, timeout. Malone working on Duncan. Ten to shoot. Stockton open for the jumper. One point Spurs lead. John has it. Malone's pick. Stockton gives it up to Malone. Drives past Duncan like a young man. Malone showing his own version of Speed Racer. <laughs> Dunking from the line. Spurs trail by a point, 54.9 in overtime. Oh. Duncan misses a chance to tie with this one. Tim Duncan's first playoff experience in his rookie season, his NBA career. Missed them both. Jazz by a point. They go back to the bread and butter. Stockton feeling his way. Russell with seven on the shot clock. Gets a good look. Jazz by three. You couldn't call it any better than that. John Stockton had the opportunity to shoot it, but he knows. Tough call. Can't get it in. Co finally do. Avery Johnson. Goes for the wild shot. Rebound Malone. Eight seconds, seven seconds. There they get the foul. Chuck Person on Brian Russell. In the front court. Del Negro is going to have a look. There it is. Ooh. Jazz win by three, 109, 106.